I feel like an extremely technologically sophisticated squirrel. One small step for mankind, one giant step for huge if true. Oh no, my nose is running and I can't do anything about it. Don't look at me. I'd say challenge number one, accomplished. Challenge number two, run. And by run, I mean walk fast. That treadmill that I'm about to get on is built for horses. Let's go. Put me on the treadmill. I got it, I got it. It's not that it feels heavy, it's that it feels weird. It's like, like I'm not actually moving my legs straight like you would normally walk. It's like I'm rotating the inside of the bearing and that's how I'm walking. So it's sort of like, um, imagine waddling like a duck, but like in a much more graceful way. I could go faster. How fast is like fast? Oh, it's, it'll go fast. <laughs> okay, take me to two. Okay, 2.5. I mean, I couldn't do this for very long. Yeah. I mean, I'm definitely warmer, but I'm not, I'm not hot. This feels quite comfortable. I mean, it's a relative term. <laughs> Listen, not to brag, but later they told me that this is the fastest they'd ever seen a guest go on the treadmill. Wait, guys, wait for the best part. Challenge three, do a squat in full earth gravity. I would love to attempt that. I'm about to try bearing all of the weight of the suit by myself, which at Earth gravity is quite heavy. This is much, much heavier than it will be on the moon or on Mars. All right, here we go. The hardest squat of my life. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Challenge three, 